Chapter 4 In the last days the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem will become the most important place on earth. People from all over the world will go there to worship. Many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Israel. There he will teach us his ways, so that we may obey him. For in those days the Lord's teaching and his word will go out from Jerusalem. The Lord will settle international disputes. All the nations will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. All wars will stop, and military training will come to an end. Everyone will live quietly in their own homes in peace and prosperity, for there will be nothing to fear. The Lord Almighty has promised this. Even though the nations around us worship idols, we will follow the Lord our God forever and ever. In that coming day, says the Lord, I will gather together my people who are lame, who have been exiles, filled with grief. They are weak and far from home, but I will make them strong again, a mighty nation. Then I, the Lord, will rule from Jerusalem as their king forever. As for you, O Jerusalem, the citadel of God's people, your royal might and power will come back to you again. The kingship will be restored to my precious Jerusalem. But why are you now screaming in terror? Have you no king to lead you? He is dead. Have you no wise people to counsel you? All are gone. Pain has gripped you like it does a woman in labor. Writhe and groan in terrible pain, you people of Jerusalem, for you must leave this city to live in the open fields. You will soon be sent into exile in distant Babylon, but the Lord will rescue you there. He will redeem you from the grip of your enemies." True, many nations have gathered together against you, calling for your blood, eager to gloat over your destruction, but they do not know the Lord's thoughts or understand His plan. These nations don't know that He is gathering them together to be beaten and trampled like bundles of grain on a threshing floor. Rise up and destroy the nations, O Jerusalem, says the Lord, for I will give you iron horns and bronze hooves, so you can trample many nations to pieces. Then you will give all the wealth they acquired as offerings to me, the Lord of all the earth.